Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of 2 Kings chapter 18. When I came to verses 19 to 22, in this context in the scriptures, we see the people of God being taunted by a wicked king by the name of Sennacherib and being tempted to follow or trust in Egypt or their military strength to uh, ward off an attack that was going to come from the Assyrians. And when I was reading this, I was thinking about how we too, as the children of God, need to trust in the Lord and not in military strength that we have or anything in us. The middle verse in the whole Bible, Psalm 118 verse 8 says, It is better to put your trust in God than your confidence in man. And the next verse, Psalm 118 verse 9 says, It is better to put your trust in the Lord than in princes or people of power and authority. Today here in America, we are living in a nation where many people have made a God out of politics, idols out of politicians, putting their trust in people and authority. And if you're honest with yourself, the people that you often vote for, you get discouraged, disappointed in. That is because we are to firmly put our trust in the Lord and not in people. We pray for those that are in authority. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 3 tells us that, but we don't trust in them. We do not trust even in ourselves. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5 to 8, you could read in that passage of scripture where it contrasts the blessings for those people who put their trust in the Lord compared to the, to the curses that come to people who trust in themselves. In Jeremiah also, chapter 9, verse 23 to 24, Jeremiah reminds us under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that we are not to put our trust even in ourselves, our own wisdom, our own strength, our own money, but we are to put our trust and our hope in the Lord. King David, who was a man of war, learned this in Psalm chapter 20, verse 7 where he said that some people put their trust in chariots and horses, but we, I will put my trust in the name of the Lord. Today, my friends, I encourage you to put your trust in God. Now, that doesn't mean that there are not conventional means or natural means that God can use to do supernatural things. What I mean by that is, if you have a cold, and many people now have this coronavirus, it is good to say, yes, we trust in the Lord. But God has given us things to bless us with here on earth. For instance, in John chapter 9, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ healed a man that was blind. Now Jesus could have just healed him. He had that power and authority. But what did he do? He put mud, mud on the guy's eyes, on the man's eyes, and told some people to put him in a pool and to wash his eyes with the water, and he was healed. When I have a cold or if I have a, a sickness of some sort, well, oftentimes I'll go to uh, a local deli and I will get raw honey, I mean raw ginger and raw garlic, cut it up and put it in a tea, hot water. It has medicinal purposes. Sometimes I get a little sinus drip and I get that phlegm. Maybe you get it too in the, in the back of your throat and your upper respiratory. I'll get some mucinex and it helps to clear up that mucus. So when you're sick, my friends, it's, it is, yes, we do trust in the Lord, but God doesn't bless foolishness either. There are things to do that we could take care of ourselves for. I oftentimes, when I'm not feeling well, I'll say, God, give me wisdom, what to take, what to do, and he will direct me what to take or do. I take vitamin D3, I take zinc to try to keep my immune system strong. So yes, first and foremost, my friends, we put our trust in the Lord, but let us not be foolish and not take care of ourselves also. God has given us things to bless us here on this earth. Common grace blessings, I like to call it, to help us in our battles with, the, uh, with viruses or colds. But first and foremost, we have to put our trust in the Lord. Sadly today, as I said, many people, even professing Christians, put their trust in people only to be let down. How often when I was younger, putting my trust in a young lady to try to fulfill my needs, only to be let down. How many young women 
Same thing. Put their trust and their hope in a man, thinking that that person is going to satisfy them, take care of their desires and their needs. My friends, I could tell you, first and foremost, only God will truly love you, truly take care of you. That is why we are ultimately and firmly put our trust in Him. And I hope today's devotional video will help us in a day and an age where there's so much deceit out there. Again, I'm going to quote Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, says that, says that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Don't put your trust in people, my friends. Love them. Have compassion for others. But don't truly trust people. They're fickle. They're finite. Only God is infinite. Only God will always be with you. And only God will never forsake you. Remember, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came to his own, as it says in John chapter 1, verses 11, verse 11, but his own did not receive him. That is why a little later in John chapter 2, verses 24 to 25, you can read there, Christ did not put his trust in people because he knew what was in people's hearts. And he emphasized this in Mark chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, where he, Christ said, what is in the heart of man? Look at that list of things that's in the heart of man by nature, and it's not good. I hope today's devotional video, again, my friends, will encourage us all to truly put our trust in the Lord and the promises of his word. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. Remind us of the monuments of your grace as we're reminded of the 12 stones that were put in the river, the Jordan River in Joshua chapter 4, as a reminder of all you did for the people of God back then. Remind us, Lord God, of your faithfulness in our own lives, despite the times when we were faithless, and help us to truly put our trust in you and you alone. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. Walk with the King and be a blessing. Stay faithful to the Lord. Read his word and be in prayer.